Animals, woodlands, and wetlands all can be seen when visiting the Prairie Winds Nature Farm. But this group of IU South Bend students wasn't just taking in the sights and sounds. Well, they had two assignments. They had an assignment to observe in nature and read a poem, be reflective in nature, and use all their senses. And then they had another assignment, which was a scavenger hunt, which was a list of things to find and photograph in nature. These students are all education majors who hope to become teachers one day. But why would teachers in training feel the need to have personal experience at places out in the world of nature? If the teachers are comfortable and excited and passionate about nature, then that's going to communicate on to their students. And we want the students to be passionate about nature because we want to protect our natural resources and our beautiful wild places. When teaching science, I think it's really important that students have hands-on experience with nature and, and the things that they're studying in particular, like life cycles and, and the geological aspects that like young elementary students would study. Um, so being able to see actual physical things that, that I might be able to use in my classroom someday and places that I might want to take my students, it's a really good experience for me to become familiar with the surroundings and understand what strategies I might want to use. Well, I think it's very uh, important because I think a lot of our society is becoming more into technology and, you know, city life and that's okay, but there's a lot of people that need to uh, experience nature, need to experience ways of um, just connecting with the environment and making humans more connected with the environment because in today's world we're becoming more and more or less connected with nature so bringing that connection to our students is very important for us. These college students weren't just standing around and listening to an instructor speak. They were getting hands-on experience and even getting down and dirty with the natural world around them. I think every student should have the opportunity to study something that interests them um, and in an everyday classroom we're really lucky that students can use technology to explore things through the internet and, and learn about different places all over the world. Um, but nothing really beats that in-person experience of seeing things and feeling them for yourself. It's very exciting for me because this is my second time only being to a farm. So uh, we haven't, I haven't really uh, experienced being in a farm uh, life, but it's pretty cool to uh, just explore nature and uh, just to be, uh, just to take it all in and uh, explore nature. And getting out of the classroom and outside can also be a way to help those children who don't like to sit still learn better. Well, it's been estimated that up to 30% of our students, especially boys, are very, very active, find it very difficult to sit still in desks and learn mostly visually and auditory. And they may have some gaps in those areas, especially the younger children. And up to 30% of those students could could, uh, of course, all students benefit, but, but those 30% have a very difficult time sometimes and are not able to incorporate into the classroom learning. Learning to be outside and taking an active role in nature education can also have added benefits for younger learners. Research has shown that they will be more informed citizens, they will be more in favor of protecting natural resources, and also that they do better in school if they are out in nature and moving around. The more movement they can do, the better for a lot of students. These teachers in training may have learned a few new things, but did they feel they could take those lessons and apply them to their potential classroom settings and future students? What I'll use in my future classroom is definitely the ideas that I get when I'm out here. Um, I consider a lot of different things about what might interest students and what questions they might ask which informs the, like, the opportunities and strategies I'll pursue as a teacher. So the types of activities I'll decide to pick are ones that I think would also have relevance in an environment like this, um, so that if I'm teaching something in the classroom, I can also connect it to something that I might do out in the field. Oh, I think that uh, it's going to translate really well. I really look forward to taking future students to a farm like this um, and have them experience nature and have them uh, experience, uh, make a connection with nature. The best way to get future generations interested in something like nature is for the soon-to-be teachers of today to experience those subjects themselves. And for the education students of IU South Bend, the trips out to Prairie Winds Nature Farm is teaching them about more than simply the natural world. 
It's teaching them about how to provide life experiences. Taking your students on field trips or taking them out to places in nature like this I think is really important because they can experience for themselves, make personal connections to the things that they're learning.